Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Habib Ali and I am an ICT tutor by profession. Welcome back to another lesson. So in today's lesson we are going to be learning about how to wrap text manually and automatically to fit the contents within the cell. Hope you like and share this lesson and subscribe to our channel. Okay, so let's make a start to today's lesson. For today's lesson, I'm using a file called Lesson 12 Wrap Text Manually and Automatically. And as usual, you can get a copy of this file by clicking on the link I have left for you in the description down below. Click the link, this will take you directly to Lesson 12 on my website. Okay, before anything else, let's go and have a look at today's question. It's asking us to wrap the contents of the cells in column C using the three methods shrink to fit, alt and enter, which is a keyboard shortcut by the way, and the command called wrap text. Okay, let's have a look. So here I have created a table for you with the three different methods and I've given you a description of each of the methods. However, before we start implementing the three methods, I just want to quickly tell you the purpose of using a wrap text. Now in Microsoft Excel, when we normally type in a cell, the text continues uh, into other cells if you like and it kind of expands to the adjacent cells just like you can see in these three examples because it, when we press enter like for example in Microsoft Word it does give you a paragraph break and it normally goes into the next lines every single time you press enter However, however, in Microsoft Excel, that is not available. So what we have to do is use the wrap text feature in Microsoft Excel to go down below to the lines underneath. Now, today, like I said, I'm going to show you three different methods and you will see how each one works. Each one does have its own benefits and advantages. So let's have a look. So the very first one I'm going to demonstrate is a shrink to fit. Now it isn't really wrap text. However, let's say you wanted to fit in the contents or this entire line of text within the width of column C, i.e. in other words, within this cell. This is possible and there is a lovely feature in Microsoft Excel which we can use to do this. Now, all you have to do is click in the cell and then on the ribbon, click on the home tab and then come along to this alignment group and simply click on the arrow to open more features to this group. Once you have done that, please make sure you've got the alignment tab selected here and then you have your lovely shrink to fit option just here. Just click in the box and simply click on OK and Excel will make the text very tiny or tiny enough to fit in the entire line of text within this cell, just like so. So, for example, you know, sometimes there could be a situation where you just want to automatically shrink and you still have the line of text in one single line rather than having it in multiple lines, then this is the best option to use. Okay, the next one is called Alt and Enter, which is a manual line break. Um, so the description I've put here for you is it starts a new line of text within the cell. Okay, so for this, for this one, we do need a keyboard shortcut. And the keyboard shortcut is Alt and Enter. So just I'll give you a picture here. So you've got a pictorial as well, uh, an image to help you out. So let's say I want to start three lines of text. I want to break, break this long line of text into, into three lines. What I can do is use my mouse and click 
double click within the cell and I've got my cursor flashing. So all I have to do is position the cursor um, to the point where I want to break this line up. Once I've got the cursor, so let's say I want to break this line in uh, starting from the word line. So once I have done that, I press Alt and Enter. It will break it down and then let's say I want another um, line break after the word text. So if I place my cursor there and again press Alt and Enter, it will break it into the three lines that I have chosen. Once I have done that, I simply press Enter to come out of the cell and you can see Excel has manually done a wrap text within this cell. Um, and finally, you've got the third option, which is the main feature of today's lesson. It is the wrap text command. Now this, as you know already perhaps, or if you don't, I've given you a lovely description here. So wrap text, um, it wraps the contents of the selected cells. So the text automatically appears on multiple lines within the cell. So this is an automatic feature we don't need to manually um, hold down alt or press enter or anything like that we simply tell excel okay this is a cell i want you to wrap for me and make it um, go on to multiple lines as required so all you do is click in the cell and again under the home tab in the ribbon we come to this alignment group and this lovely feature is just placed right up here with a lovely icon abc with an arrow all i have to do is click on it and Excel will automatically wrap the text within the acquired or required number of lines of text that I need uh, for the entire content to be visible within the width of this um, column, um, column C or within this cell. So this is how you apply the different methods that you have learned today. So shrink to fit, you've got alt and enter, which is a manual break. So with the manual break one, you can choose where you want to break each line. So that is the main advantage of the alt and enter. Um, command or, or feature and then you've got the automatic wrap text which Excel chooses for you as to where to break the line so it basically breaks the line up to where it the words do fit in automatically so if you if you have a look at this line the third one text the reason it's broken there because the word automatically will no longer fit in the remaining space um, within this line now I also want to show you this wrap text in a working environment or example. Now if you remember this lovely popular dead trips in Marmorous spreadsheet that we have created together all the way from lesson one to lesson 11. So I want to apply this wrap text on some of these uh, cells in this worksheet. So let's say row number three, because we can apply the wrap text. We don't have to do it individually for cells. What we can do is apply to an entire row or even an entire column simply by selecting, let's say this row. So I want to apply wrap text to row number three to all of these labels in one go. What I can do is select the row number three and then simply apply the wrap text like so. Once I have done that, if I was to then make the columns a little bit narrower, let's say up to there, you can see the text or the, yes, the text within the cells will automatically be wrapped. So let's say this one, um, I make it, this one may not work simply because well, it will work, but you won't be able to read these three cells, which if I do later, wrap it though, it will be fully visible. And let's do this one here because I've got two words in there as well, total sales. So if I just make them a little bit narrower, let's have a look at this one and see how this one pans out. There you go. So sometimes what we do is we wrap the text also to save space on the worksheet. Otherwise, you may have long words that keep expanding into 
to other cells and you have to keep widening the columns and the more you have the columns widened the more space it is going to take on your spreadsheet so this is a very good working example or situation where you would apply this wrap text now for the rest of the lesson feel free to apply more wrap text command onto other cell labels for example maybe here maybe even on this one and maybe even on the on the names of the trips and see how the spreadsheet works out for you and this brings us to the end of today's lesson so if you do have any questions please do feel free to ask me otherwise don't forget to like and share this lesson and subscribe to our channel if you have not done so and i shall see you over in the next lesson so until then please do look after yourself and goodbye for now